Alan Stutz and this is Cameron Parkins and we're the founders of Hit City USA. Uh, we started the label seven years ago in our backyard in Echo Park, just as kind of a harebrained scheme. We were in a punk band called The Franks and we had our first album coming out and we were pretty fresh out of college and didn't really know anything about the music industry. And we just thought that putting a stamp on the back, pretending like we had a record label would be a good way to get people to pay more attention, you know, take it seriously. And it clearly worked. <laughs> we, uh, no, it didn't really, it but... It didn't work at the time, what it, it's working now. It's working now. What it did was just kind of, that was the beginnings. We started putting out our own music on Hit City and just kind of that way it became something, you know, very... DIY. We were we had friends who put out some records, and we just started asking them like, "Hey, where do you get, you know, vinyl press? Where do you get CDs made? Like, hey, how do you send this out to, you know, different newspapers and magazines and websites?" And you know, finally, just kind of absorb as much information. And honestly, I feel like trial and error is the key to our business. I mean, it's been seven years, and we're still failing pretty regularly at different things. I mean, not in the best way, though. You know, I mean doing it all ourselves. Hard work. Yeah, a lot of hard work, almost unnecessarily, <laughs> but at the time it was fun, it, you know, was, it was a fun, hobby. Yeah. But what's fun about it is like, we are very much on the, this vanguard of the new music industry, but what we're trying to do is uh, conceptualize something different that's, that works for us, that we can kind of do. And the big thing that really stands out, we feel, is the curation of it all. You know, it's our track record as a label, it's the artist that we've worked with, it's everything as a collection. You know, some of them you've heard of them, some of them you haven't, but we do feel like we can stand behind every single release and, you know, as long, our mission is just to get as many people's ears on the music and other music that we love too, not even our own stuff. Yeah. And since we've just done a, you know, handful of acts from Princeton to Shy Girls and Papa and Kisses, our latest releases were Astronauts, etc. We put out his first full length debut, and he plays keys with Tori Moi, and that's been going really well. And mm -hmm. just got off tour together. And I mean, I honestly mean it when we've kind of been like failing every step of the way, because with that kind of DIY mentality that I feel like we still keep, it's just like we want to try a lot of things. What I like to look at when we're working with artists from a label perspective is okay, like this is the music that this artist created, how can we best support that? Like what's, what do they need to, you know, basically figure out how to get the right team together for marketing purposes and touring purposes and all this sort of stuff and beyond that, how do we like help this artist present themselves to a wider audience? Because a lot of times musicians are really talented and great musicians but don't have necessarily like a broader vision beyond that to like, oh, well, I didn't think about the artwork, I didn't think about the videos or any of that sort of stuff. So I look at us as a connector for that those musicians to take the music and then sort of figure out how to present it outwardly so that people get interested and want to go see their shows and want to buy records and want to support those arts. Oh,